Hey, this is Allison from East Cobb Tutoring Center, and this is how to find the angle between two vectors. First, we're going to start with the formula for the angle between two vectors. It is cosine theta equals the dot product of our two vectors, u dot v, divided by the product of their magnitudes. There we go. Okay, so the dot product on the top, and then the product of their magnitudes on the bottom. Now let's give ourselves two vectors. I'm going to write them in component form. We're going to have 3, negative 5, and 2, 6. So the cosine, let's fix that up a little bit. Here we go. The cosine of the angle between those two vectors is equal to the dot product. So that'll be 3 times 2 plus negative 5 times 6 and then divided by the product of their magnitude. So the magnitude of the first one is the square root of 3 squared, uh, 3 squared, hold on there, we go, 3 squared plus 5 squared, and the second one is 2 squared plus 6 squared. So now is the time for us to use our calculators. Let's simplify it a little bit. Cosine theta equals, let's see, we've got 6 minus 30 on the top, negative 24, over the square root of 34 times 40. There we go. That's a times right there. All right, so I've got my graphing calculator ready to go, and I am in degree mode. Um, typically for the angle between two vectors we use degree mode. So I'm doing arc cosine of negative 24 divided by the square root of 34 times 40. And the result is 130 degrees. Okay, so now we're going to talk about a couple of patterns that we can see from um, looking at the cosine. So the first thing I can tell you is that if the dot product, the dot product of u and v, is equal to zero, then that means that the angle between the two vectors is 90 degrees because the cosine of 90 is zero. When two vectors are um, at a 90 degree angle or perpendicular, in the vector world we have a special word for it. It is orthogonal. Um, and then something else can um, happen with the dot product. When the dot product is positive, so u dot v is greater than zero, then the angle between the two vectors has to be acute because that means that the dot product is positive, so the angle would be in the first quadrant. The cosine would be positive. And then finally, if the dot product, u dot v, is negative, then that means we've created an angle that is in the second quadrant, because we're talking about our cosine. So in that case, we have an obtuse angle. So we can figure out the nature of the um, angle between the two vectors by looking at the sine of the dot product. I hope that was helpful.